How's it going everybody? It's been a while since I've posted a video. I've been pretty busy with a little side project. I'm going to discuss that in just a second here, but first off I just wanted to say the the second video that I did for the for the Squire Classic Vibe Jaguar that I bought has by far been my most popular video to date. So a lot of great uh, interaction with the community, a lot of great comments on that. I really appreciate that. It's super cool. Thank you guys so much. Uh, a lot of great response to it. I even got a couple of thumbs down on it. So that's that's funny. I, I appreciate everything. Um, so to get into my purpose of the video here, uh, a couple of the comments that I uh, posted in, in that video, I discussed it. I'm also looking to get uh, a jazz master. I think it's safe to say I've been bitten by the Fender Offset guitar bug. Uh, definitely have been wanting to get a jazz master as well. I, I went to Guitar Center and I played the uh, the J Mascus uh, Squire. Hope I'm saying his name right. But uh, fell in love with that thing. Just an awesome guitar. I know some of you guys have talked about it and some of you guys have played that one. I, I seriously considered buying that one, but. Ultimately, I had a hard time justifying spending that much on another new guitar after I just bought the Jaguar. Some of you guys can relate. Like I said before, I'm married and have a couple of kids, so I got to kind of watch my, my budget there. So what I decided to do, luckily I had a, had a birthday recently and uh, I've got a little bit of funds from that and uh, some other side jobs that, that I've done. So I was able to pull together some funds and, and I decided to do something that I've always wanted to do, which put together my own guitar. So that's what I've been busy doing. Not necessarily from scratch. I'm, I'm not that skilled in woodworking and, and all that. And I don't have a router and, and uh, a lot of those big power tools or anything like that. But uh, so basically what I decided to do is source all my own materials from, from the body to the electronics, everything. I sourced all of that. And uh, I had a, a couple of parameters that uh, I, I put in place that I was looking for whenever I wanted to do this. And one, I, obviously I wanted to spend less than I would buying that uh, J mask, because I believe it's about 500 bucks. Uh, another one, uh, I wanted to get comparable parts to it. Uh, something comparable to the Squires. Uh, another thing, must have the, the rhythm circuit. Um, a lot of people, don't like those. Some people do, but for me, I, it's it's a deal breaker. If the Jazzmaster doesn't have that, I, I wanted that in there. Uh, I love that on on my Jaguar. It's just a great um, extra option to for uh, you know a darker sound. Uh, another parameter I set. I, I wanted just Jazzmaster style pickups. But anyway, those those were my parameters for for what I wanted to get. And I I, I looked into buying a kit, just a straight up kit that came with all those parts included, but here's why I didn't do that. Number one is uh, they're they're very inexpensive to get, but it, they kind of have cheap parts in there. The wood's not as great quality, that sort of thing, that they throw in like P90 pickups. Not that there's anything wrong with the P90 pickups, but I want Jazzmaster pickups. Um, some of the, I noticed that some of the, uh, the bodies are cut from different templates. They're not quite a Fender Jazzmaster style template. For one, they don't have the rhythm circuit routed out. Um, some of them are actually a little bit shorter body size and they look a little weird visually. So I, that's why I didn't decide to go with the, the kit. And I've, I got the, uh, the body and the neck pretty early on. So I've already kind of started on that. Here's, here's the, uh, the body that I chose. I've spent tons of hours already sanding and getting the body prepped and just measuring everything and making sure it, it's all gonna line up perfectly. I've uh, also been working on the neck. Um, I had to, to trim that down for, uh, for it to fit into the pocket correctly and be the correct scale so that you know my intonation and tuning will, will stay in uh, check. And uh, also the headstock, as you can see in the picture that, I, that uh, it came as a sort of a blank. It's like a big block, it looks like a paddle. And I cut that shape out myself for a, for a Jazzmaster style. I went with that that little bit of a bigger headstock and just that really classic Jazzmaster style headstock. Uh, so I've already done a little bit of work in, on this thing, and, and uh, my goal is to uh, do a follow up video where I talk about my my whole process from start to finish. I already have in mind what what color I'm going to paint it and all that kind of thing, and what I'm going to do with the electronics. 
So I'm going to post a follow-up video to this one, which is going to detail my my process from from start to finish and how I went about building it and some some uh, things that I uh, some roadblocks that I ran up against and and got around. So, um, so hopefully that'll all uh, come in, you know work out like I'm like I'm hoping and and uh, I'll be able to document everything and and um, um, share it with you guys and and I'll also uh, probably post a a list of all the pieces that I, I chose for mine. You may not choose um, those same parts for yours, but uh, these are the ones that I researched and, and decided on and were within my budget. So I'm really excited to uh, get building on the rest of it. And, um, and again, share the uh, follow-up video with you guys. And uh, once again, thanks for watching and uh, I appreciate it. Have a great day.